Cafe au lait or cappuccino? Cafe au lait. If you had to choose a place in Paris to drink a cafe au lait, where would it be? Ooh, um, Mastel. Why? Because you go to the top of the steps, you can overlook all of it. Or the Latin Quarter. But I haven't been there enough to um, have like a real opinion on that yet. I'm living in What's your favorite part about Paris? Is this all going to be about Paris? Yeah, we're in Paris. What else would this be about? Oh, I thought this was just like a, you know. Okay, I can ask like you. Inside the, the Claire inside Studio. Inside the Claire Studio? Yeah. Hot dog or hamburger? Neither. If they were made of vegetables. And without gluten? Uh, we're not talking buns, we're talking just the meat. Oh. The shape, the disc, or the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to know, Claire. Um, I was more of a hot dog child. There you go. Yeah. Claire leans towards sausage shapes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think to say to that, but I won't. Anyway, continue. Oh wow! I had all these Paris plan questions. Mm. Um, for a loop there. What no. do you think that your What do you think would surprise your 12-year-old self most about mm. what you do nowadays? That I was not a painter. You wanted to be a painter at 12? Wait, what year is 12? To the 7th grade? Uh, no. Yes. Yes, that's 7th grade. Yeah, that I wasn't in art in some way. You are into art. Yeah, I know, but I mean... Like visual? Yeah. It's more of a verbal thing that happens now. Yeah. The written word. And, you know... What do you think your 12-year-old self would think of your verbal expressions? I think that it would I, would, I would probably shake my head and go, really, Claire, and not be surprised that I'm, I do poetry and songwriting. When did you realize you could sing? <laughs> I hate you. Why? Um, uh, not until I did it a bunch of times. I think um, once I stopped doing it just when I was cleaning the house or in the kitchen and I sang in high school that one time. That was that once. Oh, when Nick Allen came up to me and he was like, yeah, so I was gonna, you know, boo you, but then I realized that you were okay. And I didn't. And then he switched his hair and he walked away. He switched his long locks. Yeah, Nick Allen had long locks. He did. But... I still don't think I can. I'm still... I don't want to hear whatever <laughs> sentence is about to come out of your mouth. Because you also know it's a lie. Okay. No need to be modest. I don't lie. I just don't handle compliments well. That's a fact. It's just a fact that you have a nice voice. It's not really disputable. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> this is kind of hard. I thought you would have like more hard-hitting questions that you've been dying to ask me over. No, I don't, I don't have any sort of pressing questions because I feel like I know most things. Mm. This is true. I don't know what your fans want to know. I don't have. I thought the hot dog and hamburger question would be pretty hard hitting. Well, I think it's a lot of it's a thing that crosses a lot of our minds. Um, if you had to be photographed, yeah, in you know like a street fashion sort of thing, you know, someone stops you on the street and says, "What are you wearing?" Can I take a picture? Someone did that with me once when I was waiting for you. Really.